くよ認識最終レースタイタンアルティメットフォーム吹っ飛ばしちゃえあっやっこには使いたくなかったんだけど。Hey, hey, hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Sega, and welcome back to another episode of Lord of Heroes. Today, we're gonna have a double analysis of Waterlin and Erlin. We are gonna start with Waterlin, she's a warrior, and as you know, for me, the best warrior. And thanks to the help of the community. <laughs> Warlin is a very good option for a full combo team because she can reduce the cooldown of our allies' skills, so you can do a skill most more often. One of the best warriors that works as a support unit, but with very good defense, she could be an off tank with a lot of damage. Her damage is based on her defense. The best stats to focus on our speed and defense about her skill her basic attack power gantler reduce the cooldown of her skills her second skill is really awesome one turn alchemy it can break the enemy's defense so that's a plus it can reduce the cooldown of her allies plus plus and it gives her a second turn a triple plus that makes her the best warrior in the game at the moment her ultimate titan ultimate form which is a really cool mecha can delay the enemy skill so let's say it's, it's july mechas that's another plus about her set cute cute really cute uh, okay. Try to use six pieces of the set revenge or the Bengal full set for pieces. Two pieces with percent of defense and two pieces with percent of health. Or try to have use defense and buff her attack a lot more. Make sure to have speed as sub attributes. Rain and necklace speed. Optional set, defense set, leash set, or chuck set. In the Colosseum, it is very rare to see her, but with a lot of speed, she could be a very good element to perform amazing combos of even up to four heroes. She still needs a very good equipment, but could she be the water crown counter we need? Who knows? Very hard, but you know. You could think of something similar, delaying the cooldown of the enemies and increase the of our allies. Now let's check the second lane, the guardian one, and one of the best guardians too. Erlin is one of the last special heroes that we receive in the game. She's a very good thanks for raids since she can buff our resistance attribute. For the rest of the game, she's not so special. But if in the future we find an enemy that can put us a lot of the buff, we could use her to counter him. The best stats to focus on are speed and defense. Her first skill, Power Gauntlet, removes one debuff. Her second skill reduces the debuff rate of the enemies for two turns and increases the resistance attribute of our allies for two turns. And her ultimate removes one enemy buff. The mecha one. <laughs> About her set, try to use four pieces of the bulwark set and two pieces of the Aegis set with percent of health and with percent of defense. Make sure to have a speed as sub attributes. She doesn't need attack as a guardian. She doesn't do damage. Rain and necklace speed, optional set, defense set or life set. 
mm, cute 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 really cute i like her mpp is hard to find a good spot for erling in this case so heroes like fire island waterfront and watercron are the best option at the moment now we're gonna see some fights most of them with Erlin because I don't have Waterlin, but I try to find one that I use Waterlin in the cold cell. ちゅう進軍せよ。登場。ちょっと待って。風邪ひいても知らないよ。これくらい。始めよう。
は頼む。よろこしなら。夜明けを照らす。そうよくよ。いや。役に立つかと思う。夜明けを照らす。そうよくよ。
受けてみよう<笑>この剣がロードの役に立てたのが本望です。勝利をつかめ会いたくなかったんだけど。生まれた地に返して。生まれた地に返してやる。このまま潰れてしまえ。チコッとしますよ。
名誉のある敗北であらんことを始めよう。勝利をつかめ。違いいな Okay, thank you very much for being here. I hope you like the video. Share if you can and I hope you subscribe to see you soon. Later. <laughs>